Hi guys and welcome back to my channel of my life and our world. Uh, I am done with school. It is finally summertime for me and last week I decided to just take a break from school, from filming, from doing everything and just relax and stay at home and watch Netflix and just chill and give myself a mental break and then this week I'm coming back strong and I plan on filming a bunch of videos this summer for you guys so hopefully um, we have a good time with it because I'm really excited um, but today's video I am just getting ready and I thought I would talk with you guys about some stuff going on um, plans that I have for the YouTube channel over the summer and also how my first year of college was because um, it's complete and I'm done and I'm officially a sophomore which is awesome but I thought that maybe you guys would want to know so I'm just gonna be getting ready because today is my boyfriend's birthday love you Tyler happy birthday he's 19 and tonight we are surprising him by taking him out somewhere special and he has no idea so I have to get ready for that because I'm supposed to be at his house in like a couple hours. My first semester was just, I feel like that's when I felt the most like a freshman because at Rollins we have this thing called an RCC and it's basically like um, your introductory course where like you meet a lot of friends because it's not just a class it's kind of like um, like your buddy system kind of thing with a whole group of people so we would have to do bonding activities and all throughout like our um, like first couple weeks we were always like doing community service with them going to games with them and we really had like a really close-knit class I have to admit I loved all the people in my RCC they were all awesome we had a group chat we also had peer mentors who were older than us and if like we had any questions we could go to them about it and I had the best peer mentors ever like I know some people don't have the best experience with peer mentors at my school but I personally had awesome ones they were always there for me whenever I had a question or I was doubting myself or I didn't know what I should major in or if I didn't know if I should be in a sorority or not and they definitely helped me figure that all out and it was really awesome I ended up having a couple classes with them which was cool I'm really appreciative that Rollins includes that in their curriculum as a freshman to have an RCC. My advisor who was the professor for that class they were also our advisor for our courses and would kind of give us advice on like what classes we should take, when we should take them, making our schedule and I have to admit she was awesome. She really helped me figure out what I wanted to major in which was awesome because I had no idea what social entrepreneurship and business was. Because when I first went to Rollins, I said that I wanted to be in their 3-2 business program, which means that, I don't know if I've explained this before or not, but basically you spend your first three years doing your undergrad, and then your senior year you start grad school at Crummer, which is their business graduate school. And since I was doing their business graduate school, I thought that that also meant I had to do business as an undergrad. And to find out I did it was very confusing. So I was like, crap, what do I do now? I have no idea what I want to do for my undergrad. I wanted to do criminal justice if I went to another school, but Ron's doesn't have that. So when I went to my advisor meeting with her, I told her, what I was interested in, what kind of I was passionate about, what my other paths were um, for a major if I was going to other schools and she was like I think you'd really like this class called global development just take it and see what you think and as soon as I started the class I literally fell in love with it just learning about all these different social issues that were going on around the world coming up with strategies to help counteract them or how to spread advocacy for them it was just honestly really eye-opening and I was very thankful that you put me in that class because I don't know if I would have found a major if it wasn't for that hopefully I would have but my rooming situation <clears throat> that was a roller coaster um, I'm gonna make a separate video specifically talking about everything that went on with my rooming situation but some people just get really lucky and some people like myself don't and they just end up getting roommates that don't really mix well with them and 
I don't want to talk trash about the person, but um, we had just, we didn't go well together and I really, really, really tried to make it work. But, you know, at the end of the day, I was paying so much money to live on campus, even though I live 15 minutes away. And I was like, why am I doing this to myself if I don't have to and I'm not happy? Like, it just really didn't make sense. And so I talked to my parents, I talked to the school, and I ended up um, being able to cancel my housing contract halfway through the year, and I moved back in. And um, honestly, it was the best decision for me. I know that some people, most people, they love living off campus, and they love being away from their parents and not having rules and doing whatever they want at 3 o'clock in the morning, but... You know, honestly, I kind of like rules and I like having things that kind of make sure that I'm in check and I'm doing what I need to do and I'm putting my best foot forward because honestly, stuff that you do in college doesn't always stay in college like most people want them to and sometimes if you make a mistake, like it's going to get out and it's going to stick with you and I just don't want to make a bunch of mistakes in life when I don't have to. Like... I don't know, I feel like a lot of people think that when you go to college you have to get in a sorority or you have to go to all the parties or, you know, you have to smoke and do drugs and drink alcohol every night or do this and do that and I just wasn't about it at all. Um, <laughs> truth be told, I did not go to one college party the whole year. Yes, my mom <laughs> was disappointed. She wanted me to go to a college party and come back and tell her all the details about it and how it was and who I danced with and blah, 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 what I wore, how I did my makeup. But at the end of the day, I just didn't really feel comfortable going. I didn't feel safe going. I felt just kind of dirty about it. I know that sounds so weird, but I'm just not like a person that likes to go out and party and get drunk and smoke and do all this stuff. Like I know that people go out and they don't do those things, but those are the people that don't have a good time because they're sober and everyone else isn't. And you just, I get like nervous when I go to parties and I see people that are intoxicated and they're making bad decisions or they're not being safe or they want to drive while they're intoxicated. And I feel responsible because I'm the only one that's sober and I just like get this like motherly sense where I'm trying to take care of everyone and it's just mentally exhausting. Been through that before and I promised myself I wouldn't do it again and I just didn't go and you know what I had an awesome freshman year of college not going to parties and you know what everyone's different like if you like going out to parties then do it like have fun I have a lot of friends that went out all the time they had the best time with all their girlfriends and you know they had fun they dated a couple guys here and there and I'm very happy for them you know because they had a good time and they were being safe and you know they're still alive and they had a good time but I don't know I just when you're in college people don't understand what being in a three-year relationship is like and the commitment and the loyalty and the trust and respect that is involved in a relationship like that and a lot of people in college they like to sleep with people and then they like to leave the next day or they like to have flings where they get together for a couple weeks and there may be together but they're definitely not boyfriend and girlfriend because they don't like titles or the commitment so you know it's like and I don't have anything against those people because not everyone is ready at 19 years old to be in a committed relationship you know and somehow I got lucky and I found a guy that like really loves me and I'm very thankful for that because I know some people go their whole lives looking for something resembling love and to find it at a young age and like feel so happy about it like you can't ask for anything more than that honestly my biggest advice for people going to college is especially if you're gonna be a freshman don't listen to what other people tell you you have to do in college or feel the pressure because I know every school is different 
and depending on if the school is big or small the pressure is always still there like you do not have to join a sorority fraternity you do not have to go to every single party you don't have to smoke if you don't want to you don't have to drink if you don't want to you don't have to do illegal things if you don't want to and if you do just be smart you know like everyone in the whole world makes mistakes and they've done things that they maybe regret or they don't they're not proud of or they weren't legal but if you're smart about it and you don't regret it and you know that whatever you choose to do you're like you're assuming the risk of what it could potentially do to your future then that is all that you can do um, because I don't judge people that do go out and do the things that I don't do because that's their life and they're happy and I'm happy where I'm at so you just need to make sure that what you do in any part of your life is something that you really honest to God want to do all right so now we're moving on from all the college talk and all the life talk and all the stuff that people might not think is very interesting or they don't like to hear about because maybe it hits close to home and your parents have told you something similar and you don't want to hear it let's talk about my channel so my plan is to start off with a couple videos per week my videos are gonna be very different um, video to video I'm kind of thinking I should do one more serious and one more lighthearted maybe a challenge maybe a makeup tutorial maybe skincare and then one talking about personal stuff or global issues that I've written down in my notebook and I have so many notes on and I just want to talk about with people and get it out there on the internet and you know just spread the word about and so I feel like kind of mixing it up like that will keep people interested and those are my plans. I know I'm not even done doing my makeup, but I just can't focus. I get so excited. Um, I'll come back and show you what my makeup looks like when I'm done so you guys can get a sneak peek of what I'm going to look like when I go out tonight. So I'll see you then. Bye! Hi guys! Okay, so I'm all finished getting ready. I've done my hair, I did my makeup, I got my outfit on. Here, let me see if I can show you my outfit. Anyways guys, I hope that you enjoyed this little get ready with me. I have to go and pick up cheesecake for my boyfriend for my grandma and head over to his house for the big surprise. But um, I hope that you guys just liked like hearing how my freshman year of college was and my plans for my channel for the summer. I hope you get excited with me. If you want to see any specific videos, please put those in the comments below. I literally love reading comments from people. Like it gets me so excited when I see people comment on my videos. And if you have a mean comment, hey, criticism can help sometimes. So. I just want to make videos that you guys enjoy watching and I enjoy filming and editing and this whole process means so much to me so hope you guys enjoy have a great day and I'll see you next time bye